morning, it's Harriet and this is yet another hummus recipe. So I think I now have, this will now be my third hummus recipe on my blog. I don't know why because quite frankly the other two are not good. I think it was just at a point where I was like you know what I want to be able to get a recipe of every week and so I started being like oh I'll make hummus. And I was just like, yeah, it's not as good as the shop bought version. Why did I post it then? <laughs> I'm setting this up as if this is going to be a really great recipe. This is me making it up again. This is winging it episode three? Three? Yeah, so we're just going to see what happens. Yeah, it'll be fine. Recipe will be linked below the table. Um, so yeah, this is hummus take three. I hope it works better. I have here my hand dandy cheap food processor. This costs like 25 quid. You don't need to fork out an expensive food processor. I didn't. This has lasted me nearly four years. In this bowl I have got about 200 grams of chickpeas. I cooked from dry because that's what I always do. Um, I planned for it to be enough to make um, the amount for a tin, but it's always a bit hard to estimate. So yeah, I cooked up about 100 grams of dried chickpeas, and now I've got about 200 grams of chickpeas. So when I say it's hard to estimate, you make about double. But yeah, like, if you want to use a tin, then I think that's slightly more, just slightly increase the ingredients. Just do what I'm doing, just making it up, make it up. I'm kind of absentmindedly peeling them a little bit, because I think that chickpeas that have been peeled make a slightly better hummus. I'm not going to sit here and peel I, I sit here. No, I'm not going to sit here and peel them all. But it's definitely not on camera anyway. I genuinely might pause it and peel. Feel free to leave the stuff out. Beyond. For anyone who is currently worried about my sanity, I didn't quite peel them all. But you know when you just start and then you're like, oh, I'll just do one more. Oh, look, there's one that's still got skin on. I'll just take that bit off. Yeah, okay, I'm doing that. I need to, I need to stop. Okay. Got about 200 grams of chickpeas here, so into the food processor. So I'm just going to blend those for a bit to start breaking them down. Cool. That starts to form a bit of a paste, so next I'm going to add in some tahini. I'm going to do a tablespoon of this, I think. Maybe two? I'll do two. I'll do two. It's a while. And I'm also going to add in a tablespoon of oil. I happen to have a garlic infused olive oil, so I'm using that. Or you can use whatever oil you like. You don't want to use oil? Probably. Water. I may end up adding a bit of water if it needs to get a bit more liquid in, so yeah, I'll probably add some water if you want to. I don't know. I don't know. To make it extra garlicky, I've got a garlic clove. There it goes. Now, I meant to say this earlier, one of the things I'm doing differently this time to make it a slightly different hummus to all the other hummuses that I've done is that obviously hummus normally includes lemon juice, which I don't have. But I had a lime, I had half a lime, so um, yeah, I'm gonna use the juice of half a lime. And then I was like, ooh, I've got coriander, I've got jalapenos. I'll do a like, lime, coriander, and jalapeno hummus. See how that works. So that's, that's what we're trying to do today. Got them all in this nice little dish to present them to myself nicely. Yeah. Oh, got that screen right out of me. Juice half a lime. This lime looks weird because I zested it for my lime and raspberry cake video, which you can watch. Okay, yeah. let's go with it then. But, you know, wait until you finish watching this one first. Because <laughs> he knows how this would turn out. That one we know is good. 
I just have no idea what's actually going on inside this food processor. I can't see into it. <laughs> and then I've got loads of jalapenos here, but I'm not going to use them all because <laughs> I don't like it that spicy. So it's just one that was sliced and in a jar. I like that much. That's like half a jalapeno, isn't it? Like four slices. We can taste it. We can add more if we need it. And then a handful of coriander. If you don't like coriander, don't put it in. But don't hate on me for putting coriander in. Okay? You can just leave it out. I'm getting like overly annoyed about this because my flatmate hates it. And I left the bag out on the table the other day. It wasn't doing anything, it was just on the table. And she was like, no! And like pretended to throw it out the window. <laughs> hey, calm down. It's not her. You don't have to eat it. I want to eat it. Don't throw it out the window. Anyway, I've got everything in there. I'm just gonna blend it up again. I'm gonna try and blend it up again if it's on properly. I'm just gonna scrape down the edges with my handy dandy little scraper, little spatula. Mmm, smells good. Probably gonna need to add a little bit more liquid, but we'll see how this blends. Yeah, so right now, this is how it normally comes out. It's like it's quite dry and it's quite kind of chunky. So I'm gonna add some water to this. And I'm just gonna do it like tablespoon at a time so then I get the consistency I want. I may put some tablespoons to it actually. <laughs> this is something that you can now just adjust to whatever your preference for hummus is. Scrape it down again, make sure everything's getting included. Oh, it's looking a little bit smoother, a little bit softer. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. So we're now on three tablespoons. I like it quite liquidy. Not like horrible liquidy, but like that's a really bad example now. And anyway, it's how I like it. Can we see? Let's try it. Because it's good taste grim now. Down that little Miranda. Mmm. I'm gonna add a few more jalapenos into it though. And like a few more slices. It's just it's not coming through that strong. Got another three slices. It's gonna be another four. Make a hummus, it's actually really nice. <laughs> cool, just gonna get some pizza bread now. I'm all done, it's really quick. Cool, I feel like I need a proper outro style thing now of me eating it because the most recent ones I've done is like eating the cake and stuff, and that's a really long outro. But no, that's it, that's all done. So, probably should put it in something to make it look, look nice because I should probably take a photo. Well yeah, that's all done then. I did a great job of that. Nailed it. If you want to just make normal hummus, then just substitute the lime with the lemon. Leave out the coriander and the jalapenos. Maybe add some parsley, that'd be nice. Um, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Another episode of me not really knowing what I'm doing, but just making it up as I go. Um, and yeah. You can watch more of these videos. I will link the playlist at the end, probably. I'll link the playlist at the end. Um, yeah, check out this recipe, give it a go, and see you next time. Bye!